Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So I want to thank you all of you who have subscribed to this channel. We are 30,000 subscribers and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, kindly do. There is so much that you need to learn from my Forex training videos. Guys, this video is very simple. I want to teach you simple Forex trading strategy 2022 years. I want to give you um, a strategy that you can use right away after you finish watching this video. It is very simple. It is easy to follow. It has very simple rules. And if you're interested, continue watching. So guys, the, the strategy uh, that I'm about to show you, it applies to all pairs. And um, I like this strategy once because it will give you more than a hundred pips a day. If at all you uh, you get this set up in your chat, it is able to give you more than a hundred more than hundred pips that day. So this simple strategy, uh, it is very 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 effective, and it will be able to to give you so so much. So. Uh, let's say you open your chart and this is what you find. This is GBP Audi and I love, uh, analyzing for our time frame. So whenever you open the chart and you already know that this chart is a downtrend, what do we mean? The market is trending down. So sellers have been in control for quite a while. So the minute you find that the market is downtrend, you are comfortable selling this market rather than chasing in reversal, waiting the market to buy. You need to understand what is the market doing and how can I join the sell trend because the trend is selling so the first thing you need to identify is the trend so number one identify the trend number two after you identify the trend just uh, identify what the market uh, is doing so our strategy is called um, break and retest and it's uh, whenever you notice that the market is uh, it's on a channel so the strategy is um, break and a retest on a channel so the market has to be on a channel uh, on a channel i mean the market must be uh, moving upward down up down up down so we are waiting either the market to break on the support or we are waiting the market to break on the resistance that's our strategy so whenever you get this set up Whenever you get this setup, it's very easy for you to know what to do. And I will show you in a minute what to do. So this strategy is called break and retest and the market should be on a channel. So most of the time, uh, people do break and retest uh, whenever the market is trending. But in this particular strategy, it's break and retest on a channel. So let's get started. So whenever there's a channel, you need to understand that when you put your support this is our support where the market is. You need to see that the, the market is not able to break that support. You can see that the sellers came here, were unable to break. The other sellers are here. Uh, they have, they were so close to support. They didn't able. And then we can identify our resistance. So, of course, the market has already entered in the channel. So this is the first thing that you have to identify for this strategy to work. So we need to identify our channel by a box. So I like putting a box on my channel. So whenever you put a box like that, all you need to do is to identify that the market neither is breaking on the resistance side and it's neither breaking on support side. And that immediately gives you a, a hands up that there's something that is about to happen. So what you need to understand is that whenever the market will come and break either side, if this market will break either side like this, this market will continue to go down. That's something that you need to understand. The other thing you need to understand, if this market happens to break on the upward, the market will continue to go down. Most of the time when the market is on a channel, if the market was coming from the upward, so the market has been trending down, of course, 99% the market breaks the support. But that does not mean that the market cannot break on the upward side. But most of the time, if the market is coming from the up, uh, it's coming from up, coming down, 
down is coming from like that and then consolidate and then enters in a channel it's what we say if you know this pattern that is called a bearish flag that's a bearish flag i will put a photo for you guys to see so we can be having this is a flag all of this is a flag let me uh, put for so that you can have that's a flag and then now it is uh, that's a pole and then this is a flag and then it will go down so most of the time when the market is trending from uh, up uh, coming down and then enters in a channel most probably the market breaks on the downside but that 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 does not mean that it can't break upward so if you identify this, our strategy is very simple. All you need to do is to wait. And then you need to identify if the market breaks. So you are not doing anything in the channel. Why? The minute you come and say the market will sell and you sell here, the market can start going up and then eventually break. The minute you sell here because you think uh, you buy thinking the market will go up it can go down so what i tell people is that it's not safe to trade inside the channel it's never safe to trade inside the channel so what you do is that you wait the market to drop and break so our key thing is to break uh, this uh the market to break this box and i call it wbb so my my strategy is just wbb wait box break so when you wait box break and remember this is a channel that has accumulated quite a few days and you can see clearly that the market is not breaking either side so what you do you just write wbb and i've told you this means wait box break so you uh, when you tell your mind that i have to wait for the box to break either side i cannot enter you'll just need to come to check after every four hour to see if your box has broken so that strategy i call it wbb is very simple and it has to be on a channel because most of the time that i was teaching wbb can uh it has to be like this you see there's a something like this, this is a, another box so this is a box you can see it is really it is really uh effective when you understand what you're doing you see the market was on a channel it was not breaking and immediately it broke here the market continued to go uh, down so this wbb is very very effective guys so all we need to do is to know if at all it breaks on the downside where is our take profit that's something that many people they don't know where to put their take profit if it breaks on the upper side where is your take profit all you need to do is to measure the size of this box so we will measure the size of that box guys pay attention because this is very very helpful so when you measure the size of that box we will clone that box for to go either side um let me now you clone this box uh cloning you come here you clone you have box a to come to that side and then you clone again the same box because if it breaks either side it will go that distance and i'll show you with other examples so for you you don't you're not like so sure 100 percent it will break on the downside and that's where people make a mistake they see a channel and they already say and they already know ah this one will break on the downside be 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 uh, uh open-minded and be ready for any side so if this market uh break our box on the upward the market will eventually go to that uh, zone so that's our take profit so that's how you measure your take profit. If the market break on the downside, if the market break on the downside and sellers are very strong, that is our take profit. So all we need to do is to wait and see the market breaking. At this moment, you can wait for retest or you can get immediately after the market has broken. It is your choice. If you want to enter, if you want to wait for retest, you can wait. If you don't want to wait for retest, you can enter immediately the box has broken so let's play uh so that we can see if the market where which direction the market uh broke into so you can see clearly the market has broken our box and i've told you wait box break so if you if you found a channel like this and already you had identified you had identified the market was coming from the upward and then you find a channel like this the market has broken uh the box 
What else do you need to do? You need to enter that trade immediately. There are those people who now complicate, start saying, oh, we wait for uh, resistance. If you want to wait for resistance, well and good. So let's see how many pips if we enter immediately, the market will give us. And I've told you this strategy is a strategy that can give you more than 100 pips. So if you enter immediately, you are getting 196 pips. You are getting 196 pips if you get in this trade immediately. So for you, it's to identify the break of uh, the box. And then you make sure you have entered that, that market and put your TP. Let's now play this. Uh, we play uh, the play button so that you can see what really happened. So the market is, let's see what happened. Uh huh. So it was very, 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 very easy. And the market gave you 196 pips. Guys, this is a very, very simple strategy to follow. And if you don't believe me, this is GBP Audi. We can do another pair. I have very, very many pairs that I have tested this strategy. We can go to GBP USD and test this strategy. You can see, um, let me, let me, uh, Maybe you can see this is a very, very big channel. We can try and cut that out. So I've told you if the market is trending from the upward, this market, of course, is a sell. You can see it has been selling and then it has entered in a channel. So this channel is what we identify we are identifying as a box. So you come here, you identify the market was not able uh, to break this box for a very, very long time. So the market is not able to break that box for very, very long time. So what you do, you, you just put that box and you're like, if the box break, no, um, if the box break uh, this channel, because since uh, I think March, and now April for like two months, the market has not able to break this box. And I've told you this pattern is called a uh, bearish flag because we have a pole. This you can uh, you can call it like a pole and this is a flag. But this mostly we call it a channel. So you have something like this, guys. And I've told you the first thing that you need to identify is the trend. We can see, of course, the market has been trending down and it has entered on this channel. So all you need to do, we cannot really say that the market will automatically break on the downside. You can't say at this is a hundred percent sure bet. No, you just say if the market breaks on the downside, this is what I'm supposed to do. If it breaks on the upper side, this is what I'll do. And then what do we do next? We measure at the box size. We are measuring the box size. Why? Because we want to know what if the market breaks on either side, which direction are uh, where is our take profit? So we clone that. So we are cloning this so that we can know if the market is um is our if our market is is will eventually go down, our take profit is that it's twenty six forty one. If the market goes up at this level, you're not like so sure with yourself saying, Oh, I better sell, I better buy. No, the structure itself it will tell you. So, guys, this is the easiest, this is a very, very easy strategy that you need to do starting today. So all we need to do is that there are people who will wait for retest. There are people who will not wait for retest. For me, if it breaks, I know the market definitely will go down. So you can wait for retest of the box. You can, uh, you can wait or you can, uh, uh, you can, uh, enter immediately the box has broken so uh, if the market breaks that's our tp if the market breaks on the upward that's our tp so you're waiting all these are hours that you're waiting you're putting in hours remember you're not getting involved because the box has not broken and immediately uh, the box broke you see here this candle this big candle so there are people who would wait for a retest there are people who would wait for retest at this level. There are people who would enter immediately. So immediately you see this very big momentum candle. Guys, kindly enter that trade. If you see that, enter that trade. Target uh, your, your take profit. 
uh, to that level. And then let's count, let's count how many pips do they take profit? 241, guys. So this strategy, even it can give you more than 200 pips in one trade. It can give you more than one pip. All you need is to wait. So let's play the playback mode and see if the market really went to hit our TP. So we are still we are playing and you can see it was a bit of a tussle here and there and then eventually because i was in this trade it hit our tp guys this is very very easy you need there are people who waited for two good months to just get this clear market because it doesn't happen always when you see this um, when you see this, it is very, very easy to spot. And we can go on and go on. Let me do the last one, Euro USD. We will do the last one, Euro USD, Euro USD. You can see the market, uh, the market was, <coughs> had created a channel. You can see the, the, the market was not uh, moving uh, from that level. We can see very, very clear that the market was unable was unable to break that box so all you need to understand is that the market has been trending down and you measure you measure that box i've told you so many times you measure you clone so your tp is there so that's your tp and then you measure above if at all it will break above so let's clone this and take it above for us to see if it broke above the direction of the market. So here is where our TP is. And then now the market short position, uh, immediately it breaks. So let's see if it, when it breaks. So that you have to wait for the market to break. That is one thing. If you don't wait, you will find yourself you're not able to trade this strategy well. So wait until the market gives you an indication that we are breaking. And if the market gives you an indication like that, you see uh, the market broke very well. Now you put your, your trade there like that. And then now you wait and to see if the TP will be hit. Most probably, if you see the market is going down and it's not hitting the TP, all you need to do is to measure. You need to measure. Uh, you need That's where the market is. That's where the market is currently. That's where the market is currently. So all you need to do is to measure halfway. If you measure this box halfway like that, if you measure halfway like that, and then you see the market is not hitting TP and it has already passed past half, you just close your trade. So that person who entered immediately after the box has broken, they have 133 pips and a whole TP is 174 pips. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was very, very helpful. I hope you have understood the whole concept. So if you want to, to do this strategy, kindly follow the rules. You need to wait for the break. Immediately the market breaks. Get in without any fear. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye. Love you.